my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus as you know we are specially reflecting with saint francis xavier who preached the word of god in different parts of the world he was a man who had great passion for jesus christ and his ministry in today's gospel we heard those people who are wise they build their house on the rock rain come floods come but it did not touch them if we look into the life of saint francis xavier he was a man who built his house on the rock the foundation was very strong the strong foundations of faith that helped him to live his life beautifully and meaningfully Saviour set high standards for himself and he had great ambition to preach the word of God. He was a man of quick perception and uh, sound judgment. He was so fervent, he was known to be so without losing the realistic grasp of the, of the facts. And his goals were not to be the best or first but rather to make an impact an impact of the ministry of the word of god he he went and preached the word of god in different countries not that he wanted to he wanted to be a great man or he wanted to be the first or best he went out and preached the word of god because he had great passion for the lord he had a clear vision of what he was doing and he understood that he has to make an impact on the people for the sake of jesus christ jesus must be known and jesus must be preached and jesus must be part and parcel of people's life that is why he was he was driven by passion and an internal energy he had he had he passionately pursued extraordinary at realistic challenges what motivated savior to set high standards was his drive to help others in a way that he believed was beneficial to all people on earth he was so compassionate he was bringing word of god to the lives of so many people brothers and sisters he was so courageous he was so courageous and sometimes we understand he he takes because of his passion for jesus christ he persuaded extraordinary but realistic challenges what were those those challenges you know Uh, hundreds of years ago he keep he traveled from europe to different parts of asia as i already mentioned yesterday the facilities were not that much those days but he had the passion for jesus why many of us do not preach the word of god why many of us are not so realistic in our day to day life in preaching the word of god very often we give a lot of lame excuses we say that we do not have opportunities we do not have opportunities if we have if we have strong will brothers and sisters we have opportunities to share the joy of life to share the joy of christ francis was a person who was open to other people and other cultures being the cradle of christianity he came from europe but still he accepted the culture and he accepted the people whom he met in different parts of asia that is why he was able to preach the word of god in a substantial way in a fruitful way 
today he would be described as a people person he was successful because of his ability to mix easily with persons of various social classes races and beliefs so we are understood people he learned the language of the people he ate the food of the people that is why he could survive in his mission presence says missionary activity is not an easy task there are so many challenges to be faced but those people those people who are really moved those people who are really touched by the lord it is easy for them because they have a clear goal before them francis had a very very clear goal in front of him that he was passionate in loving jesus he was passionate in proclaiming the gospel he was passionate in 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 sharing the joy of gospel with other people that is why he was able to mix up with people different social classes different so, uh, different races and beliefs brothers and sisters today in the context of our own day to day life am i able to am i able to communicate my faith with other people we are very much limited we are people very much limited we may we who, with whom we are sharing our faith we may have prayer groups who comes for the prayer groups we come together to pray with uh, other christians of the same parish am i right in our pari- in our in our in, in our prayer groups in our missions we are often associating with people of our faith what about what about people of other faith so my brothers and sisters francis really set up set up a real model for us while trying to unify the world under christ savior was discovering the depth and extent of extent of differences he learned that god was revealed within those differences at first differences were viewed as obstacles to his goal later he discovered the variety and beauty of languages faiths and cultures and living conditions he began to feel and know god's work he was un- he was transformed in his understanding of differences and oneness though he understood though he accepted different cultures and different languages etc but he was not he was not making um any kind of he was not as he was not making uh, any kind of adjustment with his faith he was strong enough to preach the word of god he was strong enough to speak about the uniqueness of jesus christ very often what happened to us we 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 are mixing sometimes we mix up with people as a result we we very often we dilute our faith we dilute our faith so brothers and sisters even when we are in touch with other people even when we are accepting and respecting other people their cultures and their languages everything we must uphold our faith we must uphold our faith and we must proclaim to the people that jesus christ is lord and master there were so many qualities which was very much reflected in the life of saint francis xavier he was a man with great faith hope and open mindedness he never seems to lose his great joy and enthusiasm he talks to everyone and he did the will of god and he did everything simply because he loved the lord my brothers and sisters in order to preach the word of god in order to do in order to in order to do the work of the lord what we need in our daily life is that great zeal and love for god zeal for souls and love for god my brothers and sisters when we are reflecting with francis xavier let us ask ourselves in what way 
i am available to the people of god in what way i am communicating my faith with other people in what way i am respecting other languages other religions and other people brothers and sisters we must love everyone we must respect all cultures all religions all people but at the same time we have to uphold our faith acts of the apostles chapter 4 verse 22 acts of the apostles chapter uh, acts of the apostles chapter 4 uh, chapter 3 verse 22 we read that there is salvation only in christ there is salvation only in christ there is salvation in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved if we are called to proclaim christ there are occasions things are in favor of us and there are places and occasions things are not in favor of us we respect everyone we respect all cultures we respect all people we respect all traditions but at the same time we uphold our faith and we proclaim there is salvation in no one else for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved salvation is through the person of jesus christ amen